Gaming is often promoted as a great platform to relax and de-stress from the day. Games provide a great source of escapism, and with the social connection you can feel as well, they can be a powerful platform to get away. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the World Health Organization even partnered with the gaming industry for a campaign called Play Apart Together, where the campaign promoted gaming as a platform to deal with the whole experience of the pandemic. So in this video, we wanna talk about whether or not video games do in fact reduce stress, share some ways that games in fact increase stress, and ultimately share some tips for you to keep yourself in a healthy and safe space. What's up everyone, my name is Cam Adair and I'm the founder of GameQuitters.com, which is a platform to support gamers and their families' mental health. Our platform supports people all over the world to play in a safe way. And if you want my help with that, you can go to GameQuitters.com apply, where I'll be able to share with you exact strategies you can use to get gaming under control for good. So if you want that, go to gamecores.com slash apply and I'd love to speak with you. All right, so let's dive in and let's first look at some ways that video games do help reduce stress. Gaming can be relaxing and it can offer an escape. Maybe you went to school or work for the day and you came home and you just want to play. You just want to kind of get away for an hour or two, play some games, have some fun and just shut off the thoughts that may be occurring. You might just be looking to kind of unwind and games are really good at providing that. It also helps that they provide a flow state so you're able to focus very much on the experience and that helps to give you a break from maybe stressful thoughts that you may be having. Games are also fun and provide you with an opportunity to be creative. The fun that you receive in games provide you with a source of dopamine which is kind of the happy hormone in your brain and this can help relieve signs of stress. Games are also rewarding. They provide challenges and quests and missions to, to go towards and being able to achieve and, and reach these different levels in the game can feel deeply satisfying. Gaining these rewards and this sense of fulfillment can be a great way to relieve stress. Video games also provide you with an opportunity to build a social network. This can help you develop a sense of resilience in navigating stressful experiences in your life because you have friends and peers that you can rely on for support. Having a support network is one of the most important things to navigate the normal stresses of life. And so gaming can be one of those outlets. The key though is if those relationships are meaningful and if you're actually discussing different experiences that you're having together. If you're just playing and only talking about the game, the level of relationship that you'll develop might be uh, more surface level. Games can also provide the opportunity to build skills, such as problem solving skills or cooperation, teamwork, leadership skills. And these skills can then transfer into the physical world to help you navigate stress and just everyday occurrences. The key though with this is whether or not you are taking the intention to take the skills and the, and the ways that you learn and strategize in a game back into the physical world to actually have them apply there as well. All right, so those are some ways that games can reduce stress. Now let's look at some ways that video games can increase stress. The first thing we need to talk about is that the gaming community can be toxic. Now this especially applies for games like League of Legends or Call of Duty, but these toxic experiences increase stress, make the game a lot less fun to play, and can actually compound stress that you're experiencing in the physical world. So be mindful of the games that you're playing and choose ones that actually help relieve stress and not just compound it in your life. Games can also lead you to play too much and excessive play can lead to the development of a gaming disorder. Research has found that individuals with higher levels of stress are more vulnerable to developing a problem with games. And so you really wanna be careful that if you are stressed in your life and you're using games as an outlet for that, be careful that it doesn't lead to playing too much to the detriment of other areas of your life. Another way games can lead to increased stress is through in-app purchases. There are many ways to spend money in games now and many games have predatory monetization schemes. This can lead to overspending, debt, financial harm, and many other ways such as conflict with your partner or with family. So be aware of games that are free to play, especially 
but most modern games contain opportunities to spend money in games and you definitely wanna keep that to a minimum. Games can also be highly competitive and this level of competition can be very stressful. So if you find that competitive games are stressful for you, then maybe changing to more single player story-based or narrative-based games might be a better solution to reduce your stress and not add to it. And finally, escapism is not a long-term solution. So although games can provide you with that opportunity to reduce your stress or escape from things that are going on in your life, if that doesn't lead you to then going and deal with them, then it can lead to bigger issues over time. So although escapism might be a short-term or a temporary solution, don't use it as a long-term strategy with games. Now, if you want to know some ways that you can relax or escape or de-stress without using video games, you can check my video. The link is in the description where we have 18 different ways that you can actually relax without using video games in healthier ways. All right, so overall, there are ways that games can help you reduce stress and there are ways that it can increase it. The key is about how you play, when you play, and who you're playing with. Generally, more single player narrative-based games should be less stressful than highly competitive online multiplayer-based ones. So a simple solution exists there, but ultimately it's about the way that you're playing games when you're playing them, how long you're playing them, and who you're playing them with that's ultimately going to lead to whether or not gaming is reducing stress in your life or whether it's leading to increased stress or prolonged stress as well. We have a ton of other videos on the channel that can help you find more balance or even stop for good if that's what you want. So be sure to check those out. And if you're new here, hit subscribe and leave a comment below. Do you think games reduce stress or did they increase it for you? Share your experience in the comments below and I look forward to hearing from you guys. That's it for me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. All right, peace.